Hey, it's Joy. My car was updated to FSD beta version 11.4.3. <laughs> and uh, I am going to take it out on the weird intersection test route and see how things have changed or improved or regressed. But so far from my everyday driving, I feel that the route planning has gotten better in this version. So fingers crossed that um, that weird intersection situation is uh, being resolved. And per usual, this is a disclaimer that this is an outlier case. This is not the norm. FSD beta performs about 90% correctly at this time. So if anyone is trying to use this video and twist your narrative and bad mouth on FSD beta, please don't. This is just an extreme weird intersection outlier case edge case. So let's go and uh, see how this version of FSD beta performs. All right, here we go. Up ahead at the uh, intersection at the traffic light, this car needs to make a left and then make a right or stay onto the right that splits. Um, in the previous versions, if you've been following uh, the series of the video, um, the car would just go to the left lane instead of going to the right because it splits right away. And I've always had to disengage to make sure that the car is staying on the route so that it does not miss that split and then it will get onto the uh, incorrect route. So right now, the path planning seems to still want to go over to this left lane. Um, but fingers crossed, so we'll see what happens. So at other intersections or other turns on this version of FSD beta, I noticed that it's corrected some of the turns. So, oh, okay, looks like we might be making, yeah, it's doing the correct path planning, even though the car is like all the way to the middle of the intersection right now. And this car is coming, is like right there. I still have to disengage because the car would not turn because the car coming from that direction, it was just way too close, um, or my car's way too close to her really. Um, so the car isn't detecting that, um, it needed to, it had enough space to make that unprotected left turn. And actually the car behind me was about to cut me off and just like cut over and turn like, why are you still waiting around? So um, it looks like the path planning is being fixed, yay, but it still needs some more refinement. Um, so really good progress, but I'm going to actually do this run again in this same video just to, um, make sure okay now the car is kind of confused it's kind of going like this and i had to um, accelerate just a little bit to help it out um but anyway mm -hmm. let me um do the return trip and then i'll do another run now and then we'll see how consistent this uh fix is okay now we're on the return trip and then on the return trip there was this issue with um Again, one lane is widening and then it goes to the right and goes to the straight and then making a left turn. In the previous test, the car would not go or stay to the left of the lane. And sometimes it's blocking um, cars that may need to go to the right and it will cause confusion. Um, and then when it's doing the left turn, uh, there are three left turning lanes. So the car sometimes gets confused and it would not know which lane to pick and it would just signal and try to change lane and I've had to disengage. So let's see how the return trip goes. And um, up ahead, coming up, here's a split. And oh, looks like 
this is improved because the car immediately recognized I needed to come here instead of going to the right. So instead of sticking to the dead center of this widened lane, it picked this left path pretty quickly. So great improvement, really, really happy. Um, however, I really wish that they would shorten this gap still because this is still pretty wide. Um, so when I'm in a stopped situation, I'd always have to just nudge my car forward and shorten that stopping gap by like a half um, in order to deal with uh, urban congested area traffic. But today, the traffic isn't too heavy. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not that bad, but if it's like rush hour traffic, um, you don't want this big gap because there are a lot of times people are just like cut over the last second because they're like, oh, I need to turn right. And then let me just cut, come over here, um, blocking me and blocking the car, um, in the other lane, just causing even more congestions. And sometimes it just, it just, it startles me. Um, but so far... It seems like the three lane left turn, this intersection is going smoothly. It's signaling, it's signaling correctly to the left um, versus the previous test when it was signaled to the right and then left and the uh, pathing, the blue pathing solid line would just kind of wiggle. Oh, here we go again. So, okay, what are you trying to do? Just stay in this lane and turn. Do not go to that other lane. Okay, it stayed here, but for for a while it turned blue. It was trying to go over there. Um, okay, it's fine now. Um, okay, so today this first round of test is uh, working fine, which is uh, great. I'm happy with the progress so far. So now let me go back and um, do another run with the turning left and then immediately turning right and uh, see if the fix of the path planning is consistent. Now turn right onto Sotel Boulevard. Okay, second round of the same route. Let's see how beta performs and you can go there are no cars just go in 500 feet turn left onto the Boulevard Boulevard then keep right to take Jefferson Boulevard now turn left onto the Boulevard Boulevard all right here we go again um, Today, I'm, it seems like, um, again, much lighter traffic, so I'm like the first in line. Um, but I wonder how it will work if I had another car in front of me. So maybe next time when I do this run um, with this video series, I will come back at a more congested time and run this route again, and uh, we'll see what the result is. All right, here we go. They actually put that strand there too. Looks like the path planning is uh, doing correctly, but it's pulling way, way, way too forward. So that car doesn't have enough um, room to turn. And then if I, I'm able to turn, but um, yeah, I have to nudge it. So path planning is fine now, but it still needs refinement where uh, the car shouldn't be like blocking half of the intersection or going all the way toward like the half of the intersection so that the car in front of me coming from that direction also doing the unprotected left turn um, can have space for them to turn as well. So again, Tesla, thank you for improving this, um, but please enhance the turn so that it doesn't have to do like a 90 degree turn. You can do like a, I don't know, 60 degree turn so that the car in, coming from that direction also has room to do that turn as well. 
And now let me go on the return trip and uh, see how the car performs with that uh, three lane turning. And I'm actually going to set the um, destination to something else. Yeah, this is still kind of weird. I don't know why in here. Um, but well, it's a parking lot, so I guess I shouldn't use FSD here. Um, and again, this is like the last mile problem with FSD. Um, you can't really do door to door right now. Like if I'm coming to Target, um, I can't because it gets confused in the parking lot. So that is a uh, even more complicated problem to solve for FSD. All right, here we go again, second round. It's kind of curving to the right. No, don't, 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 don't go to the right. You're supposed to stick to the left. Okay, so yeah, this is not consistent. This um, this little problem is not consistent. And then, um, yeah, it's just too much route. See, it, it came over and then now it's trying to come over here again. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, not fixed. Um, the car still gets confused and doesn't know which lane to stick to, doesn't know which turning lane to pick. Um, and I'm going to nudge forward to uh, fill in the gap here a little bit more in urban area. And there are people on YouTube comments arguing with me that you need that huge gap because if, you know, I get rear ended and I'm not going to hit the car in front of me. I don't know how often you get rear-ended, um, but just because you might get rear-ended doesn't mean that you should leave like a huge gap, especially in the urban area. So um, I'm sorry if you gotten rear-ended frequently um, to the point that you have to get that, you know, one and a half car length of distance, um, but not here in LA. Um, especially, you know, urban congested area, you don't need that much of gap. Just half of what the Tesla stopping gap is, is good, is good enough. Okay, so the turn is fine, but um, I don't know why the car is trying to go to the left when I, my destination is actually 0.1 mile up ahead. It's right here. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm missing my, my destination um, pretty much. Yeah, so still needs fixing. Yep, I just got hunked. So uh, route planning is still not all there yet. Um, so yeah, Tesla needs to fix that desperately. Okay, there's definitely improvement with route planning, so yay, but it's still not perfect. It still needs uh, a, a bit of improvement to make sure that the car is behaving human-like and I'm not going to block the oncoming traffic making that um, unprotected left turn in order to get to the correct route and also that three turning lane the car the second round is still is uh, a little confused so hopefully they'll um, take a look at this video and continue to refine it well thank you so much for coming on this drive with me i will see you in the next one and god bless